Hi, Kevin here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're fixing baguettes. Now a baguette is a long, thin French bread. It has a deep yeasty aroma, a crackling crisp crust, and an open crumb. Just delicious, very easy to make. The only ingredients you need are flour, salt, yeast, and some water. In a large mixing bowl, weigh out 500 grams or about three and a half cups of either bread flour or all-purpose flour. Then add 10 grams or one and three quarter teaspoons of salt and whisk to combine. Now take 350 grams or one and a half cups of room temperature water and add two and a quarter teaspoons of either active dry or instant yeast. And whisk the yeast. And just let it sit for a moment so that the yeast can dissolve. Then add the yeast to the flour mixture and stir just until all of the flour is moistened and a shaggy dough develops. Okay, there we go. Use my bench scraper to clean off the sticky dough from my wooden spatula here. Now cover the bowl with either cling film or a damp towel. I'm using a damp towel and let the dough rest for 30 minutes. All right, 30 minutes have passed. As you can see, the dough has done pretty much nothing at all, and that's perfectly fine. This is a no-knead dough, and we are going to stretch and fold it. So lightly flour your work surface. Transfer the dough to the floured board. There you go. Lightly flour your fingers. Pick up any edge of the dough, stretch it, lift it, and then fold it into the center of the dough. And you want to do this all around the dough. And just keep adding a little flour to your fingers if the dough is sticking too terribly. What we're doing is building surface tension on the bottom of the dough. Also, we're forming the dough into a tight ball. There goes my dog barking. I'm not sure if you can hear her. You want to do this, oh, 12 or 14 times. Okay, there we have it, a tight ball. Lightly grease the mixing bowl. I'm using vegetable spray here. Then return the dough to the bowl, seam side down. Once again, Cover the bowl with a damp cloth and let the dough rest for 30 minutes. And 30 minutes later, let's have a look. Yes, the dough has really puffed up considerably. So now, once again, lightly shower your work surface with flour and then invert the dough onto the board. And once again, stretch and fold. Now you'll see the dough is much less sticky. It's a beautiful dough. So we are developing the gluten and we're forming a tight ball. Return the dough to the bowl, seam side down, cover with a damp cloth, and let rest for 30 minutes. And 30 minutes later, let's have a look. Very puffy dough, it's absolutely gorgeous. So now, once again, flour your work surface lightly, invert the dough onto the board, 
And then we're going to be preforming the baguette. So first thing you want to do is weigh the dough. Now I've made these baguettes many times. Dough should weigh 858 grams. We will see. 868 grams today. All right. Now I'm going to be dividing the dough into four segments. So each segment will be roughly 215 grams each. So now cut the dough into four segments. I'm just using my bench scraper here. And then weigh out each segment. All right, my dough is all weighed out. So now, once again, flour the board. Then we're going to preform the baguettes. Now take a segment of dough and form it into a rough square. And then roll from top down <clears throat> to form a cylinder. I'll do one more for you. You want to create a square shape and then roll just as if you were rolling a cigar. Now flour the tops and then cover them with a dry cloth and let these rest for 15 minutes. The 15 minute rest will allow the gluten to relax so that the baguettes are easier to roll out. Now, while I have you, I want to show you on what I'm going to bake the baguette. So I purchased this nifty baguette pan from Amazon. It works great. It's perforated on the bottom, so heat can come through and lightly brown the bottom crust. And of course, the shape is perfect. And it's a non-stick surface, so you don't have to worry about the dough sticking. I'm going to link this pan in the description box below. It's baguette forming time. So now you can be a little more generous with the flour from this point on because you really don't want anything to stick. Take one of the preformed baguettes, flip it upside down, and make a ridge down the middle, just like this. Then use your right hand to fold the top dough over to the ridge and then press down with your left thumb. But what we are doing is building surface tension. Then take your fingers and just seal that middle area. Then roll it over again. This is certainly easier to explain visually than verbally. Okay, then take this little overhang and just pinch it against the dough. And if your fingers are sticking to the dough, just put a little flour on the fingers. Now, I'm going to roll this out to about, well, let's see, my pan is 15 inches in length, so I want my baguettes to be, oh, from 12 to 14 inches. Grab the pan, the baguettes go seam side down on the pan. Now, flour the tops. and then cover with a dry cloth and let the baguettes rest until they've puffed. That's going to take from 30 to 45 minutes. Meanwhile, prepare your oven. Put a shallow roasting pan on the bottom rack of the oven and then preheat the oven to 475 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, bring a kettle of water to a boil. The boiling water that we put in the roasting pan is going to create 
a big burst of steam that will help the bread to develop a rich, crispy crust. Okay, we're ready to rock and roll. Bread looks beautiful. So now I'm going to give it a light spritz of water. And I'm honestly not sure if this water really does anything, but I do it anyway. I'll be adding boiling water to that roasting pan. Now, this next step is entirely up to you. I'm going to make slits and I'm using a single edged razor blade. And I'm going to go on the diagonal. Put the loaves on the center rack of the preheated oven and then immediately add the boiling water to the roasting pan. Bake the baguettes until they turn a rich golden brown and become very crusty. That's going to take 15 to 20 minutes. Ooh, look at these. Gorgeous. They transfer the bread to cooling racks. And you see how nothing's stuck to the baguette pan. And let's give you a close up. Can you hear that crackling crisp crust? I'm going to let the bread cool to room temperature and then we can cut into one of the loaves. Now, although I said you should let the bread come to room temperature before you cut into it, I'm going to cut into it even while it's warm because I can't wait. Oh, listen to that snap, crackle and pop. a beautiful open crumb and now I have some emotional support butter over here. It's my beloved Kerrygold butter. Taste. Thumbs up for this. This is perfect. So it has that crackling crisp crust. It's got the open crumb interior. The interior is actually very soft and a deep yeasty aroma that I just love. I hope you will give these baguettes a try someday. I'll post the list of ingredients in the description below. And again, I will also put a link to that nifty baguette pan that I used in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you will give this video a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and tap the little bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Again, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye for now.